Let's unbox this watch and let's see what is in the package. There is a manual book. A warranty card. A watch name tag. This watch type is W735H, 1AVDF. Before we review this watch, I will show you how to set this watch first. To set time, hold down adjust button for a few seconds until the seconds digit flash on the display. After that press the mode button to switch to our settings. Press the start button to increase our. Press split to decrease our. If you want to fast forward, press and hold the start button. To switch to minute settings, press the mode button. Press start to increase number. Or split to decrease number. Pressing mode again will enter the 24 hour or 12 hour display settings. To select, press the start button. When the 12 hour format is selected, the indicator P appears on the display to indicate PM times. When the 24 hour format is selected, the indicator 24 appears on the display. Press mode will enter the year setting. Press start or split to set the year. Press mode will move to month settings. Press start or split to set month. Press mode again will enter day setting. Press split or start button to set day. If we press mode again, it will return to seconds settings. When it finished, Press the adjust button until the display stop blinking. From the timekeeping mode, if we press mode button once, it will enter timer or countdown alarm mode. To set timer, press and hold the adjust button for a few seconds until the display is blinking. The top one is the hour setting. Press mode to move to minute setting. Press start to increase number. Press mode will move to the second setting. Press start to increase number. Press mode will return to our settings. When finished, press adjust button until display stops blinking. To start timer, press the start button. The timer will start counting down time. When the end of the countdown is reached, then the alarm will sound for 10 seconds. Press the start button to stop the timer, and press split to reset to previous settings. To enter stopwatch mode, press mode button twice. Press start to begin stopwatch. Press start again to stop. Press split to reset. If you want to use auto start feature, while the display is showing all zeros, press split to toggle it on and off. If active, the indicator auto, ST, appears on the display. If this feature active, the stopwatch will start 5 seconds after the start button is pressed. To turn off auto start, just press split button again. Press the mode button 3 times to enter alarm settings. To set alarm, Hold down adjust button until our display blinking. If the alarm is active, there will be an indicator on the screen. Press start to advance the time. Or you can press split button to decrease number. Press mode to move to minute setting. Press start to set minute. If we press the mode button, it will return to our settings. When you're done, Press adjust until the numbers stop blinking. To turn the daily alarm and hourly time signal on and off, press the split button when the display not blinking. As we can see, the black indicator moved to the SIG. This indicates that the hourly time signal is active. When active, it will create a short alarm every one hour, every time hour change. If the black indicator is on the alarm and SIG, 
This indicates that the alarm and also the hourly signal is active. If you want to turn off alarm and chime, then press split button until there is no black indicator on the screen. This means only daily alarms active. This means only hourly signals active. This means alarm and hourly signals active. And this means alarm and signal is off. This watch has vibration alarm feature. To turn vibration alarm, in timekeeping mode, press and hold start button for about 2 seconds until the VIB indicator display on the screen. If the vibrating alarm is on, all the sound is off. And the alarm will change from sound mode to vibrate mode. To turn off vibrate mode, hold down start button again until VIB indicator disappears. Press the mode button 4 times will enter dual time mode. The dual time mode lets you keep track of the time in another time zone. You can set several hours or minutes earlier or slower. To set, hold down adjust for several seconds until hour digit flash. Press the start button to set hour. Press mode to move to minute setting. Press start to set minute. Press adjust when finished. This watch has a diameter of about 4.8 cm and a thickness of 1.5 cm. A bit big but not too big so it is suitable for everyday use. When compared to the G-Shock GA400 series, the size is slightly smaller. This watch is relatively lightweight. It is 50 grams only. It is really comfortable to wear it every day. For comparison, G-Shock GA400 weigh is 72 grams. This watch has several advantages. The first one is to have a vibration alarm feature that will be very useful if you need an alarm in a very noisy environment. The second is, it has a long life battery lifespan. It is set up to 10 years. Of course, it also depends on the usage, whether often use alarms, lights and so on. It is also 10 bar or 100 meter water resistant. So, it is safe to use for swimming. This watch use LED light that is very bright and easy to read. The conclusion is, we can say that this watch model style is similar to G-Shock series. So, if you think G-Shock is too expensive, then you can buy this watch for the look. But of course, it is not shockproof as G-Shock series. The key advantages of this watch in my opinion are the size that is not too big nor too small, lightweight, and also a vibrating alarm. Should you buy it or not? It all depends on your need. Thanks for watching, subscribe our channel for more updates.